dead set on moving to LA. Steam, steam, scoot, doodly, doot, doot, and we should be ready to rock and roll. It is a random Thursday, and I mentioned before in another vlog that we're getting a Stanley Seamer to come clean out our bedroom, and I figured it could be kind of interesting to film in case any of you were thinking of getting like a professional carpet cleaner to come in, if it's worth it. I'll show you a before and after of the carpet, if you don't judge, because when we got Otto as a puppy, he had a lot of accidents in here, and there's just sta like the whole rug is so nasty, and also he's so bad, he like choose all our doors we rent this place so we actually have to get it clean and it's just so bad like look at all these stains it's so bad look at what he did to the door <laughs> like i can't even oh my god and also i've like spilled coffee on it like there's all these brown stains over here from like me spilling coffee it's so disgusting so i'm so excited to have this cleaner come in it's gonna look so good we're gonna move all the furniture out tonight ah i'm freaking out because i just came home to a package from la colombe if you watch my videos know that i drink this coffee all the time normally i just get it at like trader joe's or whole, whole foods and i'll buy just like a bunch of cans for the week so that i can take it to work easily but i was so pumped when they sent me these 12 packs. I obviously chose what coffees I wanted and I could have been healthy and got the oat milk ones but I decided to get just the regular milk ones because they taste so much better in my opinion. I got a whole 12 pack of the caramel because I've never had this flavor. I never see this flavor like in stores near me at all. Then I decided to just get the regular cold brews and just get a variety pack of them. So this is the Brazilian Bold and Rich. I got the Colombian smooth and balanced and then the milk and sugar bold and rich i do have a code too which i will have on the screen it's kind of a long one it's aroe 15 off so i'll have that link down below and then they even came with these cute little stickers like look at that that's so cute i'm obsessed well we did it Everything is cleaned out in the lovely bedroom. Some floor holes from where the mattress was. Family steam, this whole place. But this is where all the bathroom stuff is. We'll see you post steam. Just hit that preliminary vacuum while we wait for the steamers to show up. Hit the closet, treated any spots on the floor with some bleach stuff. It's getting there. Now we just wait for the steamer people to come. And steam, steam, scoot, doodly, doot, doot. And we should be ready to rock and roll. So I gotta fill this up with water, hot water. And then I gotta use <coughs> this. Let me get my hot fries out the way. This full size machine cleaner, one of the things, and this one. And then you gotta fill this all the way up to the water line with hot tap water to start.
clean her. Still the bed frame holes are indents, but all the marks are totally out. It's Saturday. I just woke up. It's like 8 o'clock. I just made the bed and I realized I didn't Tell you guys how I felt about the carpet because I was at work when it happened So Ryan did all of it, but I came back and it was so clean and it seriously is like a whole different room like it's so much better all the stains came out and It smells so good and so clean and I'm so happy we did it so I would highly recommend either getting a real professional Stanley steamer to come in or renting the vacuum like we did. We got it at Petco. No more peeing in here. No more. Whew, I have a busy Saturday today. Ignore my hair. I've been getting so many questions about my hair extensions, so I thought I would do a quick hair update. So I washed them last night and slept on my hair wet. One thing I've noticed is they take forever to dry. I don't know if that's just my hair because I do have thick hair overall and in general it takes a little bit to dry. This is how they dry naturally. I've slept on them wet like I said so they're a little crazy. I feel like if they dried regularly it wouldn't be this crazy but they do blend pretty well. It's not perfect. Basically what I do is I'll go in with a straightener which I don't straighten my hair ever so I'm not happy about that but I will just go in roughly on the top with a straightener to get all these kinks out and then I will take my curling iron and just do some loose curls blending my regular hair with the extensions so that they blend better and that's been working for me. One of the first ones came unsewn which is really hard to hide because it's right in the front of my head. And I was just gonna wait because I have to go back every six to eight weeks to get them moved up anyway. I was just gonna wait, but it really is hard to hide. So I'm going this morning to just get it fixed quickly. Quick life update. I don't know if you guys remember, but before COVID happened, Ryan and I were like dead set on moving to LA. I had lost my job and I was like, you know what? This is perfect time. We've always wanted to move and like try something new because we've been in Boston for like four years now. Boston is like, it'll always be home to me, but it's just, it's I'm bored, I'm over it. I do the same things every day. I've lived here for so long. I've been to every single restaurant. I feel like I've done every single thing there is to do in Boston. There's so many people I know that live here and I'm just so ready to like move on with my life. LA is one of the only places I've ever really wanted to move and Ryan works fully remote so he can move wherever and still work his job. So I was applying to jobs down there and um, we had a trip planned literally right before quarantine happened to go look at apartments so obviously that didn't happen and it was really disappointing but we figured okay it was a sign like we should stay in Boston but now that people are starting to travel again like we're both fully vaccinated I was like let's take a trip to LA my birthday is next week and we always used to take like a little mini vacation on my birthday so yeah we're going to LA it'll be so fun it'll be like a true test of whether we still want to move there or not so I'm so excited so this will be our last video before I do my mini LA series I'm gonna make I think maybe like three different videos on it stay tuned for that make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss that but yeah I just wanted to update you guys and I'll take you to my hair appointment and then I'm getting my nails done today too so we're just doing a lot of LA prep I have to pack later Otto what are you doing all right this is my hair after I roughly went over it it looks so much better like already like I said I just straightened the top real briefly and then threw some curls in it with my real hair and my extensions to blend them and it looks so much better but see like this stupid one that came unsewn just like pokes out and I need I just need to get it fixed you guys already know I always eat one of these like yogurts either a go-go squeeze or just like one that I get at Target in the morning because I'm not like fully hungry in the morning but I want to get something in my stomach before I have my coffee so I'm gonna have one of these in the car and it's just so convenient and then I'm trying the La Cologne caramel flavor that I was talking about earlier It's so good. <laughs> tastes just like you would expect. Caramel. It does taste like it's unhealthy, but you know, whatever. 
All right, we back. That was so quick and easy. Took literally like 10 minutes. She's such an angel. She just fixed it for me, sewn back in. It's all good. So now I don't have to worry about it. All right, my nail appointment is at one o'clock. So we got some time to kill. I haven't been on YouTube in so long. So I really need to just like catch up on videos and I'll have like a little relaxing afternoon before I go get my nails done. I feel like so many people ask me how my nails last so long like guys it's actually kind of ridiculous i've had these cherries like you know i've shown you these i've had these for let me look when i got them because it's actually so crazy i got these on march 20th and it is now may what's the date it's may 8th not a single nail is broken i mean obviously they're insanely grown out and like gross but not a single nail is broken like you would, from afar, they still look good. Like, I'm shook. All right, here they are, my birthday nails. I'm so excited. Colorful tips are really in, and you know I love my colors, so I wanted to get something fun for my birthday. And I just chose, like, some random, almost like pastels, but not really. And I just love them. It came out so good. And I also did my toes. I don't normally get pedicures, but the weather is starting to get nice. And now I want to wear open-toed shoes and my toes were just disgusting. So I literally just got white. I mean, I don't want to really show my feet on camera, but <laughs> I just got white gel. Sorry, I haven't picked up the camera in a little bit, but we just got back from Trader Joe's. Tomorrow's Sunday, Mother's Day, and I'm going home. I'm from Connecticut, if you guys didn't know, so I'm gonna go see my mom and my Grammy. So I went to Trader Joe's to get them a Mother's Day gift. I always go to Trader Joe's to get like last minute gifts for people. Like they have the cutest stuff. I got two of these, one for my mom, one for my Grammy. Trader Joe's seriously has the best cards. Like look how cute these are. I don't know where the day went. It's literally already eight o'clock. I haven't eaten dinner, so I'm just gonna wind down for the rest of the night and probably end the vlog off here. But before I do, I wanted to show you guys what I've been loving from Highline Wellness. So I've been talking about them a lot on my Instagram. So if you follow me there, this is probably repetitive, but I'm obsessed with their CBD products. They've sent me products before and I just got some new ones from them. I've been loving the DeBloat gummies, which I'll take during the day because they don't make me tired. They do make me like calm and relaxed, but I don't feel sleepy from them at night. I love taking CBD to just unwind and like fall asleep. Like it really does help me and it helps my anxiety. So they sent me the CBD oil as well. And this stuff is amazing. I love putting it in tea because I mean, you can just like take the dropper and put it under your tongue if you want, but I think it's just fun to put it in some tea. So I'm gonna do that right now, but I also have a code with them. I'll link it up on the screen. These are my favorite little like tea or like cups to drink tea out of. I got them at Ikea. I'll link them down below. And that's it, and then I'll drink this and it'll make me so sleepy and ready for bed. I did start to prep for LA. I have my huge suitcase. I started packing all of my outfits. It's really everything from my last Zara haul, which I'll have linked up here, but I did get a few other things that I have not shown you guys yet, so I'm excited to post on Instagram, but yeah. Aritzia has my favorite socks. The TNA socks are so nice, so I had to get a new pair of those, and I finally got a pair of sweat shorts from Aritzia because I wanted to wear them to the airport and I've been telling myself that I need to get a pair of their sweat shorts for the summer so these are perfect gonna wear them there I have so much content coming I'm so excited um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram so you can keep up with it in our LA trip and thank you guys so much for watching I'm gonna end off this vlog here and just relax and go to bed um, before I go to Connecticut tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'll see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye